Well, for the month of June, we are focusing on men's health, and today we're talking lung cancer. The disease affects men and women, but lung cancer rates are higher in men. Smoking, of course, the major risk factor, but family history actually plays a big part in that. As Deborah Alfaron reports, the latest advances make early stage lung cancer easier to tweet, treat. No, no, I was smoking at least uh, more than a pack a day. Mauro Santillo didn't have a major cough or trouble breathing, but a scan found a mark on his lung. His initial doctor thought it was simply a scratch. A few years later, he went to see Dr. Kandar of Inova Fairfax Hospital, who wanted to do a biopsy. So over a period of time, this lung nodule started to grow. And with the growth, we elected to proceed to do a more invasive procedure to diagnose what this was. It turned out to be lung cancer. It was caught relatively early, so Dr. Kandar used the super dimension procedure to see the nodule and carefully remove it. So best we could tell this was a stage one. And the best treatment for a stage one lung cancer is to remove it surgically. So that's what we did. We removed it surgically, removed it minimally invasively with two small incisions, a video camera and some small instruments. Uh, we got his entire lower lobe out. Then he used this instrument called a tri-staple to gently close the wound. Lung cancer is no longer a death sentence. If we can pick up these cancers early, we have a chance at intervening. And in some cases, the patients are up and walking in an hour. I had a surgery on Friday and I left on Sunday morning. Sunday morning and I went to work after a week. Deborah Alfaron, WUSA 9. Mr. Santillo now has checkups every six months to make sure that the cancer is not coming back. For men's health screening recommendations from Innova experts, check our website, WSA9.com slash family health.